so we going to talk about a procedure of how to take a mdi puff using a spacer and a mask generally a spacer is used at any age group but the mask should be applied in a child a mask mask should be applied in a child who cannot coordinate his breaths so in that case these can be given uh, between 4 to 5 years of the age or even lesser to that lower to age group it can be given even to a 6 month old child till 5 or 6 years of the age if the child start coordinating his breath then the mask is removed from the mouth otherwise how to use it we going to explain first fix it with the spacer you to remove the mouthpiece and fix the mask properly sometimes even the ready made kits are also available but this can be used properly and uh, at any point of time if we need to detach the mask then it is also possible and the spacer can be used directly so uh, how to use it we start using it now this is a 3 year old child first put it on the child's face beta aise dekho samne aap karwao put on the child face tell the child to open the mouth a little mukh kholo beta yeah and the spacer should be fitted properly there should not be any air leak between the mouth and the mask and even the level of the spacer should be little higher a neck should be little extended but not very much extended this is a proper position of the child it can be used while sitting down properly or with a pillow uh, or with the, uh, uh, beneath the head in a sitting position so first using it uh, shake the puff fix it over in the spacer now press the canister yes first you can tell the child to take a normal breathing to so, saans lo you should know how to do it and it should be tightly sealed over here so you can keep your hand at the position of the mask now push the canister yeah once we have done that tell the child to breathe to breathe, in. breathe properly the child will not be able to take a deep breath but at least he will be doing a normal breathing pattern which is we said tidal breathing and even if this he performs it for say 10 breaths at a time then the drug can be deposited in the peripheral area of the lungs so in this manner we tell the child to take proper breathing it should be smooth and non jerky very good so mother can see that sometimes they are able open able to open the valve and sometimes they are not but doesn't matter how to take a next puff so wait for 30 seconds to 1 minute shake the puff again and repeat the same procedure so please do it again extend the neck a little higher not much the child should be in the comfortable position take a normal breathing first normal breathe lo beta normal breathing part saans lo very good one two once you know that the uh, it is total uh, in a proper position then push breathing. the canister and tell the child to take one. a normal breathing with his mouth open Yeah, nine and ten. So this is the way. Just keep it up. We can give the proper level in or a any bronchial uh, dilator puff or maybe any other steroidal puff. And generally, these puff goes to the lungs, and there is no side effects if given properly. If we give this puff directly into the child's mouth, then it will be total hazardous, and the effect will also not come. and the child going to have side effects so it should always be given with a spacer with a proper deposition of the uh, medicine and there is no habit forming this is not at all habit forming and neither it causes any side effect this is a perfect and the guidelines approved way of giving a bronchodilator and a steroidal puff thank you